The reason I'm doing this is because years ago, when I worked with other think tanks, which did and do great work on taxes, energy, government budgets, work that I was proud to be a part of, at the same time, I started to think something was missing. And it's something the ancients talked about and understood. And it's a fundamental question. What does the good life look like? These days, it's popular to hear people accuse others of having privilege. Let me tell you about someone who had zero privilege. In 1914, a three-year-old girl and her family tried to leave Ukraine for Canada, where their relatives said there's opportunity here. But war broke out. They were forced to go back to Ukraine, then to Central Europe, then to Eastern Europe. They eventually ended up in Siberia for three years in search of food, opportunity, and work. They finally made it to Canada in 1927 where Lydia would get her first job cleaning houses in Edmonton. I tell the story of Lydia because she's my grandmother. When I was a kid, I asked my father, why is grandma signing documents with an X instead of her own name, her signature? And he said, Mark, in all those years where her and her family are traveling around Central and Eastern Europe and Russia, she never had the chance to go to school. It always seems a bit rich, it seems a bit much, when people accuse other Canadians of privilege without knowing their family stories, because most families in Canada came here with nothing. I didn't grow up in privilege. My parents lost everything in the 1980s, never really recovered. My grandparents didn't have anything to begin with. They came to this country as immigrants. How do we appreciate and build on those in history that in many cases had a tougher time than us? my grandparents in the Great Depression, maybe yours that came from uh, China fleeing Chairman Mao, maybe someone else that came from Ukraine two months ago. Some people want to cancel Canada because its history was imperfect. What matters is that people put their mind and muscle into improving Canada, whether the first settlers 20,000 years ago, someone in 1867, or someone who arrived from Hong Kong two days ago who doesn't want to live under the repressive regime of Beijing any longer. All of us should cherish and celebrate the Canada that we're building and be proud of that Canada. What's different about the Aristotle Foundation for Public Policy? We will address issues that are rarely talked about honestly in polite company today. Cancel culture the attack on free expression in Canada's history, and also the very real dangers of identity politics. We want to build upon the sacrifices and successes of past generations of Canadians. We want citizens today to look at each other based on character and merit, and we want open inquiry and free expression prized as the best possible path to a free, flourishing future for all. It's important to have a think tank that addresses issues honestly, with reason, with history, and with something the ancient Greeks, like Aristotle, sought, wisdom.